traditional uh, tools of monetary policy used by the Fed. Which method is preferred? So there are three tools here. One is going to be the discount rate. Okay, two is going to be the required reserve ratio. And three is going to be open market operations. Okay, so to give you an idea here, um, discount rate is the rate that banks charge or are charged directly by the Fed. So raising the discount rate will lower money supply, whereas lowering the discount rate raises the money supply. Okay, required reserve ratio, again, it's it's roughly, uh, it's at that 10% here, but raising the RRR will again lower the MS because banks are going to be required to hold on to more of their money, so that's less money out there for the people. And when you lower the RRR, sound like a seal, RRR, when you lower the RRR, it raises the money supply. Why? Because now banks are going to be able to um, lend out more of their reserves and therefore it's going to increase the money supply. And then open market operations. This is the preferred method. Okay, Why? Because it deals with more of the supply and demand here. Uh, buying uh, government securities will increase the money supply. So buying again will bloat the money supply, bloat, buy bloat. And then selling government securities will decrease the money supply. Why? Because sell is going to shrink the money supply. So sell shrink. Okay. So these are the three traditional tools of monetary policy. Thank you for watching educator.com.